And I really want to give credit to the Orlando Magic because win or lose, I think this season should be proclaimed a success because they've had multiple top 10 picks in the past three years and they've finally been able to turn it around. This is a team that's been stuck in the lottery for year after year after year and now you see them actually stacking pieces and making something happen. You look four years ago, four years ago, four years back, the Orlando Magic only won 21 games. Now they won 47 games and they're in the playoffs and they, they have a legitimate chance to beat the Cleveland Cavaliers. So, I mean, they should definitely be proud of that. And the fact that there has been actual progression over these years of, of getting multiple draft picks is huge because there's a lot of teams, much like the Detroit Pistons, which I hate that they've been doing, they don't see any progress at all. <laughs> They've been struggling. They've been getting worse for the last four to five years, even though they've been getting top 10 picks in the NBA draft. So I, I got to give a lot of credit to the Orlando Magic and, and just stepping it up, making sure they got the right pieces, making sure they're doing the right trades um, to get these guys. Because go back to 2021, they won 21 games there. In 2022, 22 games. 2023, 34 games. And now they got 47 games. And they play the Cleveland Cavaliers, but the Orlando Magic, they look very, very promising, and they actually have direction and a solid foundation within this team. So that, that's huge for them. Um, but the Cavs in the Mavs series, originally, I favored the Cleveland Cavaliers to win this because that's a solid team over there. They got a lot of talent, and, and that was why I was favoriting them because of the talent they have on that roster. However, I think the Orlando Magic is going to win this in six games. And yes, I'm saying the Orlando Magic will beat the Cleveland Cavaliers in the first round of the playoffs in six games or less because I'm choosing the Magic to win simply because, I mean, they have a top five defense and they're the healthier team regarding this series and regarding injuries of who can play and who's healthy and who's not. You look at the Cleveland Cavaliers roster, they got some key guys who are beat down. Donovan Mitchell is on a day-to-day -day injury. Darius Garland, another elite guard on a day-to-day -day injury. Um, Karis LeVert is on a day-to-day -day injury with his knee. There's so many injuries going on, and I know these guys are probably going to end up playing, but when you play through an injury, you can't, you, you're you not going to be as aggressive. And it's not a, a thing like, oh, I'm trying to scale back or anything. It's just naturally you're not going to be as aggressive. And, and certain things that you may have been able to do, you may not be able to move the way you were. So these things are going to hurt. You may be out, uh, slightly out of shape, and you have to be in shape come playoff basketball. So, you know, Cavs got three key injuries going on right now from, from legitimate playmakers on their team. Meanwhile, the, the Orlando Magic have zero injuries. They have a healthy Paulo Bancaro. They have a healthy Franz Wagner. They have a healthy squad over there. And, and you know, this team, they're third in points allowed right now, and, and they're fighting with nothing to lose. So I think they're going to actually do what it takes to get over that hump and, and beat the Cleveland Cavaliers in six games. I, I'm saying it's going to happen, and I'm excited for it because um, it's going to be a showdown, and, and nobody's really expecting it which is why I'm voting on it and which is why I'm banking on it because I know it's going to happen.